Hello guys, welcome to Reward Academy. From today on, we will learn the iPhone 11 Pro Circuit. The first, let's have a brief introduction about this course. In this course, we will learn the below circuit one by one. And for each circuit, there are two parts included. The first part, we're going to learn the working process of this circuit. And the second part, we will learn the troubleshooting process. So this should be around totally 30 lessons in this course. Okay, and for the very first course, we will not introduce details of the circuit. We will have an introduction about the motherboard first. And to know the motherboard is just like to know a friend. So let's try the best to know the motherboard as well as possible. And as we can see for the iPhone 11 Pro motherboard, it's just more or less like the iPhone 10. It's with two layers structure. And for the two layers, the upper layers, we call it logic board. Low layer we call it signal board. So let's come to the first layer of the logic board first. There's so many connectors on the logic board. So let's start from the easy part. This one is the battery connector, right? And the connector nearby is a lower antenna connector. Also, we have another antenna connector. It's upper antenna connector, which is just on the right upper corner. And as we know, there's three cameras for the iPhone 11 Pro. So these three connectors are related with the real cameras. This one is a super wide camera connector. And this one is a wide camera connector. The rest one is a telecamera connector. Okay, and uh, what else? The longest one, this is a dock flash cable connector. Because on the dock flash cable, there's so many functions integrated. For example, the charging, USB, the main microphone, and also some antenna, the vibrator, the loudspeaker. So this connector is the longest. And this connector is a display connector. Okay, another connector which controls the touch is just here, on the above of the display connector. Okay, so we still have five connectors. Think about it, what else is not introduced yet? The Face ID module, right? So the Face ID module is mainly related with infrared camera, door projector, and flood illuminator. This connector is related with flood illuminator. We call it Rosalind. It controls not only the flood illuminator, but also some sensors like the ambient light sensor and the proximity sensor. This two is related with door projector and infrared camera connector. So which one is door projector? Let's have a guess. I think this one is related with dot projector, right? And the nickname for this connector is Romeo. This one is infrared camera connector. The nickname is Julia. Okay, so the last two connectors, this one is related with drop connector. It's mainly controls the flash LEDs and the power button. And this connector here is related with front camera. Okay, so the connector introduced finished. Then let's come to see the chips. So first let's have a look on the big ones. This one is NAND flash chip. We can see it's from Toshiba, right? And this chip is accelerator and a gyroscope IC. And these two, they are mainly related with Wi-Fi or radio frequency. We will introduce details in the future courses. Okay, and uh, here there's some chips which is looks like made of glass. And this chip is mainly related with the uh, power supply for the camera circuit. This one is the same. It's mainly related with front camera circuit power supplies. And the chips, they are ending some shading cover. So if you want to see the chips, you should remove the shading cover first. Okay, the last one, this one is a crystal. The code number for this chip is Y1000. It's a 24 megahertz crystal, which works with a CPU. So this is the upper side of the logic board. Okay, let's turn around to see another side of the logic board. The same, let's start from the large ones. This one is a A13 CPU. Okay, it's easy. And this one is PMU, which is just like the heart of the mobile power supply system. And this one is the Face ID Power IC. It's mainly responsible for power supply of the Face ID modules. And this one is camera PMU because we have three real camera, one front camera, and also in front camera. So all of these cameras they need some powers. 
this chip is very important for the camera systems. And these two, they are also related with Wi-Fi or RF circuit. We were introduced in the Wi-Fi circuit or RF circuit. And this very tiny chip is very important. It's boost IC. It's used for providing the PPVDD boost, which is an essential power supply for many components. So if this one gets damaged, the phone cannot be booted up. Okay, this one UWB chip and UWB is short for Ultra Wideband Power Supply. And this one is audio codec IC, which mainly responsible for the control of the audio related circuit, like the microphone circuit, speaker circuit, or vibrator circuit. And this one is USB IC, which is very important for the charging, that transforming, or accessory identifications accessories. And this little chip is related with the accessories power supply. This one is related with the faster charging. And this tiny chip is also very important. It's EEPROM. And since it's on the logic board, so we can call it logic EEPROM. It's very important for the data recovery. Okay, the rest of the chips here is also mainly related with the radio frequency part. Like this one is a high band power amplifier IC. And this one is ultra high band power amplifier IC. And these two chip is also related with the Wi-Fi or the RF circuit. Okay, that's almost finished. And there's still some chips I didn't remark the name or the function of this chip. So if you're interested, you can check it by yourself. For example, we can have a check on this little chip. Let's go to a Refox bitmap to have a look. Okay, let's open the iPhone 11 Pro bitmap. It's just located here, right? U3940. So what's this used for? You can click the pin number to see the functions here. This is I2C bus. And this is PPVD demand, Lex. So it seems it's not easy to know the function of this chip by their name or the location. So we can go to the schematic to have a check. The first page in Chinese, so we can ignore it. Let's try to search U3940. It will take some time to search. Let's wait. Yeah, here. You can see the nickname for this chip is Lex. And we can see some key information from this power. It's PPVAR real camera. So we can know the main function of this chip is to provide some power for the real camera system. Okay, so let's continue. The chips are mainly related with the Wi-Fi, the RF circuit, the baseband, the NFC. So let's have a look. Uh, this one is a Wi-Fi chip, the largest one. And this one is related with high band diversity receive. And this one is low band DSM. These two little chip is related with Wi-Fi or RF circuit. And let's see this one. This is also related with upper antenna. And this one is upper coupler. Sometimes we can know the function of this chip from the name, right? For example, CPLR means coupler. And what else? This chip is related with the flash. It's a strobe flash IC, which controls the power supply for the LEDs. And this chip is related with the ERP speaker. And this one is related with NFC. And this one is baseband PMU, which is responsible to supply powers for the baseband CPU and the other chips related with RF circuit. And also there's some chips which looks big, but actually they're just some inductors. So we were not introduced here. And this one here is ETIC, ET modular. ET here is short for the envelope tracker. It's also an important chip for the RF circuit, which supply powers for like the power amplifier ICs, the DSM chips, etc. So we were introduced in the RF circuit. The second largest one is the baseband CPU. And this one is intermediate frequency IC, which is also related to RF signals. And this one is low band power amplifier IC. And this one is MIMO DSM. MIMO here means multiple input and multiple output. It's also related with the RF circuit. 
Okay, this one is same connector. So that's all for the signal board. And on another side of signal board is this many test point uh, just goes through very quickly. Like this kind of test point, sometimes it may help for your repair. For example, you can measure PPVD demand from here. So we're gonna finish this part very fast. The green pads are grounded. Okay, so that's all for the motherboard. We will keep updating the course of iPhone 11 Pro in the next few weeks. You can enjoy 20% discount if you order course before May 14. Wish you have a nice learning journey.